Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Guys, uh, following on from my uh, video when I spoke to the parking attendants, uh, I guess this is one of the reasons why people are not scared of them. Because as you saw, I was asking him questions regarding putting tickets on vehicles. And the fact that the gentleman was sitting inside the vehicle and uh, he was giving him ample time to move his car. And uh, there's no fear factor. There's no... Uh, you know, uh, issues when I'm going to get my car ticketed. So I'm going to walk up here now and I'm going to catch them. And uh, I know they're doing their job and everything else, but in reality, as a council employee, they should be, you know, introducing themselves to me, telling me the policy of what they should do. Look, park, people park on the road, look, they don't give a crap. Brother, were you talking to them about the parking? No. No, I was telling them to, about the parking issue, that they should deal with the parking issue. I know. But I they don't do anything. I, I hey! Assalamu alaikum! What are you doing? Michael got nine years. I know. Uh, I'm recording. Uh, my podcast. I do shows. You okay though? Why don't you keep in contact? I will do a show, but I don't get a chance. Life's a bit of a mess, bro, honestly. Can you tell we're brothers? Yeah. I'm his little brother. This is Johnny, that's his little brother. Nice to meet you, Johnny. <laughs> you know, I'm telling them Blackwell Road. You know, yeah. I'm not that right. Right up. Yeah, I, I'm, I live here, oh brother. My I know. God, yeah, yeah. Man, every day, brother. Every day. Yellow line, yellow line. Yeah. I can't get into my own road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just spoke to him just now. I said, why are you not giving them tickets? Uh, because um, he's sitting in the car. I go, so what? Give him the tickets. You know, I, I come here, I drive, do a lot of jogging, so yeah, I run I through here. Yeah. And like sometimes cars, and I'm like, yeah. and if you got pushed here. Yeah. Yeah, he said they're going to have a look at the black hole. Uh, yeah. I asked him for his name, he didn't give me his name. I said, tell me what your policy is. What are you supposed to do? How many, like 30 minutes warning? Or He goes, I'm not going to tell you. I'm like, I don't want you to tell me what the policy yeah, is. Know, you're a, you're so a, why didn't they give him a ticket? I, I'm standing there. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I thought I'd try to catch up with them. They're running away because they saw me with the camera. So I'm recording them. I said, tell me what your policy is. No, 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 of course not. Should catch up with them. All right, brother. So yeah, as you saw, uh, local residents are complaining about the parking, right? And the parking attendants, the enforcement officers walked away. They didn't want to communicate with the guys, uh, with the people uh, who live around here and who raise their concerns. And I, I think they've scarpered now. The parking attendants, they've crossed the road over there. And I don't know what the hell they are doing. No one's scared of them. They literally walked past that BMW. They didn't even uh, give it a ticket. Nobody was in the car. And I'm really going to complain about these two guys. They're useless. Brother, the BMW is still parked there on the corner.
So let's see the other guys. He doesn't want to talk to me. He just walked off. Look, he just walked off, guys. He's a council employee. He works for the Coventry City Council. He, our taxes pay his, his his salary. I really want to know who the, his number is. I want to report him. And if anybody's watching from the Coventry City Council, I do, brother. Look, there's cars parked all the way down here. There's cars parked and the guy just walked off. What the hell is he doing? Because this is where our taxes is going, paying people like him who's not even doing his job. Brother, that's disgraceful what he's doing. There's cars parked here, look. That's why people park, they don't care. There's no deterrence. He's just walked off over there. Look, that guy's just walked off. His colleague has just walked off. So you're supposed to do how many minutes are you supposed to give them, brother, until they come back? If anybody knows the policies, rules and regulations, guys, let me know in the comments. But this is the issue, and I've been highlighting this for months, that the parking issue is ridiculous, and you can see why it is bad, because there's no enforcement. There's no enforcement taking place. There's one, two, three cars parked here, and none of them have been ticketed at all. What's your policy, brother? How many minutes are you supposed to give them? Five minutes. Five minutes, okay. But that BMW, the 3 Series, is still there. Look. So you, you, the problem Look. is you are harassing us. Uh, how am I harassing you? Yeah, you're harassing how, am I, how am I harassing you? So I'm a public... A member of the public concerned about the parking issues. We, How am I harassing you? We, we, we're doing our job properly. Brother, and you keep following uh, I, us. I, I following us. us with words that are not uh, proper as a civilized uh, person. You, so you teach me how to be civilized, brother. You have, you, have, you, you have bad words that you're using. And, and that's not bad the, words. Have I have I insulted you? Have I used any bad language? If you want to talk to someone, you say hello first. You didn't say. I didn't say that to your colleague. You I said hello, you. brother. I said hello, brother. Can you tell me what the policy is? I don't, I, you I, said. I, did, I, did, I, I didn't know. I, I didn't know what what your conversation was with my colleague. So when you come, to, you came to me. You 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 are you had to ask properly. You say hello. And you, you, you say what's your problem. And you know what my problem is. And you haven't dealt so, with the problem. Uh, uh, the, 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 the BMW, uh, brother, uh, is the, still over there. There's so, a van so, parked over so there. I'm, I'm listening to you. I'm doing my job. Five I'm, minutes, I'm, yeah. I'm courteous. And, and uh, that's, that's, uh, that's good for you. That's good for me. Because I work for everyone. you want to have a conversation, I'm happy to have a conversation with you and give you the tips not to get, uh, not to get uh, a, a ticket fine. As a matter of fact, I'm writing a book that will be coming out that's called Confessions of a Traffic Warden. <laughs> when that book comes, okay, uh, brother. it's good that the people that you, I'm talking here, yeah, the, uh, and, the, uh, and the author is, who's the author of the book? Uh, yeah, you, you just go on Amazon, Confessions of a Traffic Warden, yeah. and I will be relating exactly why we're doing this job to help uh, traffic, because traffic is something that's very important in people's lives. You traffic, or oh, oh, yeah, you mean about tra parking? Traffic. So, if traffic is important, it means that people shouldn't park the way this, this person is parking. Because uh, the law has stated that, has stated rules double yellow lines, uh, red lines, bus, you know, bus lines, bus lanes, yeah, bus lanes, and double yellow lines. So, we, we, what we're doing is make the traffic fluid. And, and be nice to people also. That's why I'm saying that I don't know what happened between you and my colleague. 
uh, I can't see. Very un un unprofessional of him, the way he spoke to me over there. So I'll be reporting him. I can see your colour number, 127. I used to work for the Compton City Council myself as a neighbourhood warden, a street warden. So I know the policies. I worked in Lytles Lane for a printing uh, service in Lytles Lane. So I used to work for the Compton City Council myself. So I know the, the, the policies that you have. But all I was asking him was, can you tell me the rules of engagement when you're going to put a ticket on? You politely said you've got to give him five minutes. And it's been over five minutes because I'm recording mm -hmm. and you haven't put a ticket on there. No, so for I'm me, you now. Now, no, 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 you said, oh, so every time you talk to me, you're going to pause your time, uh, your stopwatch. That doesn't make any sense. It's been over five minutes. Yeah. You need to ticket the vehicle. I'm talking to, I'm talking, and there's I'm, other vehicles. I'm talking to you. It's, like, it's, look, this man's parked here in the... the conversation is... Uh, I'm being polite with you. I'm being when, polite yeah, too, the brother. the conversation, when it, it finishes, then I, I give the ticket because I, I know that it's been already more than five minutes. So, it's been over six minutes now. Yeah, so my computer will tell me uh, that... So, your computer will tell you? Yeah, exactly. Okay. So he's going to get away with that and he'll do it again and then again. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. So this is why one of the reasons people park on the pavement because next individuals... Time, next time. Next time. Next time. Yeah, just pick up some food. So as you guys can see, this is one of the reasons people park on the pavement because they're given too much leave. Too much. Too much. The other one walked off. He hasn't done anything, doesn't care. So I'm happy this will be forwarded on to all the local uh, councillors. It will be forwarded to the Common City Council and I will be putting an official complaint regarding two parking civil enforcement officers who are not doing their jobs properly. But taxpayers like me pay my money to pay them, uh, but they don't do the job properly. So, brothers and sisters, this car has been parked over. I've been speaking to this guy for about 10 minutes now. This car has been parked over for 15 minutes and no ticket, no nothing. The other parking attendant just walked off. He just walked off. So, this is how rude this is. This is why people don't care. This is why Fosel has been run down. And this is why I always highlight the issues here in Fosel because our local councillors who pay or we employ these enforcement officers to do a job which they don't really actually do. They're too lenient, they need to put ticket. Look, even though, look, car vans constantly coming up because they do it all the time. Every day is the same vehicles. You know why? Because they don't get a ticket. They don't get like a little slap on the wrist to say stop doing it. So look, people are, they're not scared. I don't know if he's playing games on the phone. Is he, is he playing bu uh, bubbles or noughts and crosses? I really want to understand what the, the role is here. So as you witnessed yourself, it was like 10 minutes before... He, he didn't even put a ticket on the car. No, no, like now, here it's been 15 minutes and he's standing there. So that's what, what you're doing is uh, either you want to ask questions, I've, I've answered your question. Now, if it's a program that you want to go to, to take on television. That, that, that's up to you, but can you leave me do my job, please? I don't think you're doing your job. No, I'm, I'm actually highlighting. Please, I'm actually please, highlighting please, the aspect that you're not you're doing your job. You are uh, me, if you want to phone the police, you can phone the police. I'm in a public area. I'm entitled to tell the public that where our tax money is going, the people like you don't give tickets to cars. You look literally walked away from that car. You didn't even give it a ticket. So I'll be making official complaint against you. Colour number 127, I can Google your name, I'll be able to get your name, that's not a problem. And I'll be happy to complain about you and your colleague who totally di dismissed me, walked please, away. Please do. No, I will, I will 100%. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. So I think he's going to catch a bus now, by the looks of it, because he's not going to give any tickets to the cars. <clears throat>
So since he turned his back on me, there's about five other cars who just parked onto the pavement. No fear factor, no tickets. This is the problem, no, but nobody cares because they're not willing to put tickets on the cars. I'm filming that man doing his job. Why? Because people park the cars here. It's his job to put ticket on the cars. But he's not putting tickets on the cars. He has to, by law, put tickets on the cars. He's not doing that. When people have pushed chairs and disabled people, they can't. Thank you very much. They can't park car on the foot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Disabled people with wheelchair and uh, another people can't go through. The park car here on footpath. Yes. It's a law. You can't park on the car on footpath. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you so and much. Then, you know? Yes. Yes. Disabled people with wheelchair can't go through. Yeah, exactly, brother. Yeah. And the boys are park on footpath. Yeah. And nobody's scared of them you, because you, they look. He you doesn't put, put the ticket on the car yet. He doesn't put ticket, put ticket on them. A waste of time. Because, waste of time because they are from Romania, yeah. Gaslamia. Mm. They haven't got a dress. Mm. Where they send they find them. Mm. They can't they have got permanent dress. Mm. If they put a fine on them, they don't live here. Mm. There is, is no permanent dress, no car. It's wrong. In your opinion, what he is doing now? He's, I don't he's, know. he's pretending that he's doing job. Thank you so much, brother. <laughs> Thank you so much. He's pretending. I said he... that to his friend. His friend walked off. He goes, I don't want to talk to you. Yeah, I go, there's a park. Yeah. I go, you have to park. How he can work. You have to. He, I can... he don't want to talk to you if he is an official person. That's what I said he to must. him. I said he that must. to him. So I got his caller number and I said I'm going to report him to the Coventry City Council. Him and his colleagues. Not, They're not doing job properly. in Britain. They have put a fine on nobody can. I don't know what to point in concert. They haven't said they can't go park car on footpath. It's all a block. I don't know what they are doing here. Ah, uh, brother, this, this is, is so loading, dangerous. This is a loading everything. Sometimes there's two, two cars parked here. Yeah. Two, 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 two. Two here. And people could come out of the school, push chairs, disabled push people, they disabled. can't get through. You know, basically, through. Uh, nine years ago, my, <laughs> my, uh, Tina, also a person, uh, uh, have a case. Yeah. He parked his uh, car nearby his house, mm. where he is living. Where he living, yeah. yeah. And uh, despite that, uh, it wasn't the space, yeah. he automatically have got... 60, 60 pounds. pounds. Yeah. So he's Fine. putting. I'm gonna record it now because he's putting ticket on the car. So guys, uh, as you can see now, he's gonna be putting a ticket onto the car. This is it, guys. Look, look at that. Cars everywhere on the footpath. And the only reason he's putting a ticket on, and I guarantee you this, guys, is because he knows he's being recorded. Otherwise, he walked past other vehicles and he never put a ticket on. So, so there's a ticket on there. And that's only because I'm here. Otherwise, he would never do it. His colleague still walked off, being rude and disrespectful. Mm. 
So are you going to give me your colleague's uh, collar number? Excuse me, sir, can you give me uh, his collar number, please, or his number, please? But you are with him. No, I'm not with him. He's your colleague. Asked I asked him. Now, I asked him, but he walked yeah, off. He didn't want to give me his number. No, no, I have to go. It was a pleasure talking to so you. So you're basically going to do one now. It was a pleasure talking oh, to you. I've got no time to talk to you. Very disrespectful. As a, a counter employee, you're very disrespectful. Very disrespectful. Don't buy his book. Confessions of a traffic, of a traffic warden. warden. Yes, yes, basically, yes. not doing but, anything. Uh, basically, book, getting paid for nothing. In Amazon. Getting Amazon. paid for nothing. Amazon. Brother, Amazon. so many people are going to watch this and It'll they are not going to buy. Amazon. But leave a bad review, guys, okay? Leave a, a what? not even a one star, zero star review for his book. Because uh, as you can see there, the confessions. Order. You've seen it live on my on my camera. The real confessions of a, a traffic warden, totally useless. This is where our tax money is going, and this is why we're we're getting bombarded with people. Look, there's another car parked back straight onto there. Another white one. Another one. So, I'm just want to expose you for the, the tax that we pay for. Disgusting. This is why people like you are working. Is because people like us are paying our taxes for you, and you're not even doing your but job properly. You're not even money. you're not even doing your job properly. I walked up here; it's been what 45 minutes, 20 minutes, and you only ticketed one car only because I'm recording. Let me see where your colleague is, the rude one. So, guys, as you can see, the reason he put a ticket on the car is because I'm recording. Uh, otherwise, I don't think he would have put a ticket on, on the car. So, look, they totally ignore, ignore everything. All right, brother. There's no fear. There's no uh, fear factor for anybody to stop parking on the pavement. His colleagues are over there, and uh, I'm just going to catch his uh, collar number, and I'll be making official complaint and uh, against him, how he treated me, how he spoke to me. These guys, unfortunately, are here just to get a pay packet, not to actually fulfill their duties and care about the, the situation of parking. Is he giving a ticket? I want to know. Oh, you gave a ticket. Good man. Good man. Good man. So this is amazing. It's a random random walk through. Okay brother. So I'm gonna get his collar number. Let me get his collar number. Well done my friend. Good job. Number 87. You'll be getting an official complaint from me and your colleague. 127. As you can see, he's put a ticket. <clears throat> so he's going to cross over and uh, maybe stand and look like he's actually going to... He's got his phone out. I actually think on these phones, they just have like little games they play, like noughts and crosses or a word search. But yeah, we'll move on. I'm happy that I've uh, shown you that. Uh, let me take a shortcut. Uh, let me highlight this here, guys. It quickly show, highlight the betting shops here in Folder. Hello. Hey, I've got a betting shop here. Where a lot of the... Mm -hmm. Yeah, betting shop. Uh, you got another betting shop over there. Okay, and then outside you got a homeless guy asking for money, possibly going back into the bet betting shop to uh, to make some more money. So, what an interesting day today, guys! Amazing day today. Yeah, another betting shop on the left hand side. Mm. 
Pound some brother, you're right. This corner here is really bad. It's like a bottleneck here. But this is some of the trials and tribulations of living in Falso. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. As you look at the parking issue here, look. Parking. Because people don't care. People, you know, parking attendants, they don't give a crap. They're not doing their job properly. And uh, we need to raise this to our, uh, the council uh, organization, the Com City Council. But nevertheless, thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned. It's your brother Muhammad. Kaba Fef. Assalamu alaikum.